to 35 people who face drug trafficking charges in court. They are appearing in the courthouse. They were arrested following a series of high-profile raids on Montreal's so-called Compassion Clubs. Those are the clubs that give out medical marijuana. Police say some of the clubs were selling drugs illegally to people who were not actually sick. Rob Lurie is covering this story for us today. Rob, we know this issue of medical, medical marijuana rather, has been in a legal gray zone for a while. People who are arrested are activists, and they plan to plead not guilty. And Todd, the way they say they're going to do that is they say they're going to challenge Canada's marijuana laws, which they believe is a strategy that has been somewhat successful in other jurisdictions. Now, you talk about a lot of marijuana activists. A lot of them did show up today. Dozens, in fact, showed up today uh, to the court hearings. They insist the people who were receiving marijuana at the compassion clubs were all people who were in some way suffering. Now, police paint a very different picture. They say uh, that there was some trafficking going on to people who were not sick, and that's what led to the raids a few weeks back. Now, activist Marc Boris St. Maurice says in some ways he welcomes renewed debate on the use of medical marijuana. The message that I want to send today is that the prohibition of marijuana for medical use is a absolute shame and travesty, and uh, I think that the patients' rights to be healthy come way before the state's interest in prohibiting marijuana. Now, most of the people who appeared in court today face charges of trafficking and conspiracy to traffic marijuana. Uh, most of them did plead not guilty and will be back in court, Todd, on September 3rd. Thanks very much, Rob. Rob Lurie coming to us from the courthouse at this hour.